A swab of the cheek to collect your DNA is the latest tool in the ever-changing world of online dating. This is another variable that helps screen people. And the idea here is that it's screening people that you're going to be physically attracted to before you meet them. Send off your sample to Canadian company Instant Chemistry, and for about $450, they'll analyze specific genes to see if you're a good fit with a hopeful mate. We're looking at a bunch of, bunch of genes in the immune system that are highly correlated to physical attraction, um, the, the fertility rates and health of children. We mate with someone who has a more diverse or different immune system from us. Once the results are in, it's up to a partnering matchmaking service to set you up with a genetically compatible person. If that's too much science, but yet not enough chemistry, there are a bevy of new dating websites that are personalized to specific interests like Farmers Only, Singles with Food Allergies, Credit Score Dating, and even Find Your Face Mate to meet a partner who looks like you. How did you get the introduction is changing, and it's a lot more effective and efficient, honestly. Shyan Zadeh is the founder and CEO of Zeus, an online dating site that rejects lengthy questionnaires. Instead, it acts like Pandora or Netflix for your love life, where they offer matches based on your browsing activities on the site or app. Today, we expect our products to be personalized to us. No matter what site suits your fancy, Zadeh says a good and updated photo makes for a successful profile. Taking a picture that shows you full body actually improves your chances of responses. If you are a guy, avoid selfies. Selfies don't work for guys. Women, yes, selfies work for them. And when it comes to hobbies and past relationships... If you're a guy and you talk about your outdoor activities, it increases your chances of success. If you're a woman and you talk about sports, your chances of success skyrockets. If you are a guy and you talk about your past relationships, it's actually a net positive. If you're a woman and you're talking about your past relationships, it's, it's a negative. But no matter how well these sites match you with a suitor, once you get to the first date, it's really up to you to make a love connection. In San Francisco, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.